Hi and welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin and this video is on tamoctyl eye drops. So what are tamoctyl eye drops used for? They're used for lowering raised pressure within the eyeball or ocular hypertension. Also used for open angle glaucoma and glaucoma caused by another disease of the eye, secondary glaucoma. So how do tamoctyl eye drops work? Tamoctyl eye drops contain the active ingredient timolol malate which is a type of a medicine called a beta blocker it works by blocking beta receptors in the eye which lowers the pressure of the fluid inside the eyeball the pressure within the eyeball is naturally maintained by a continuous flow of a liquid called aqueous humor through the eyeball aqueous humor is produced by a part of the eye called the ciliary body and it drains out of the eyeball through channels called the trabecular meshwork. If the outflow of aqueous humor is blocked, the aqueous humor builds up inside the eye, increasing the pressure within the eyeball. This pressure needs to be reduced as otherwise it can damage the optic nerve and impair vision. Timolol blocks beta receptors that are found on the ciliary body. This reduces the amount of aqueous humor that is secreted into the eyeball by the ciliary body. So timolol also blocks beta receptors found on the blood vessels that supply the ciliary body. This causes the blood vessels to constrict and reduces the amount of watery fluid that filters out of the blood vessels to form aqueous humor. Timolol therefore reduces the inflow of aqueous humor into the eye or into the eyeball, which lowers the pressure within the eye. How do you use tamoctyl eye drops? So first you wash your hands before using the drops. Always follow the instructions given by your doctor. The usual dose is one drop put into the affected eye twice a day, morning and evening. When putting in the drops, take care to not touch the drop or tip to any surface or to your eye in order to avoid contaminating the eye drops or introducing germs into your eye. People who wear soft contact lenses should remove them before putting in eye drops from the meter dose bottle. This is because the meter dose bottles contain the preservative benzalkonium chloride, which can be absorbed by soft contact lenses and cause eye irritation. You should wait at least 15 minutes after using the drops before putting your contact lenses back in. It is recommended that you press on the tear duct at the corner of the eye closest to the nose or gently close your eyes for at least two minutes after putting in these drops. So three to five minutes for children in order to minimize the amount of medicine absorbed into the bloodstream and increase the local effect in the eye. If you forget to put in a dose of the eye drops, do this as soon as possible, however, if it is almost time for your next dose, leave out the missed dose and just use the next dose at your usual time. Do not use a double dose to make up for a forgotten dose. So regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, this medicine can pass into the bloodstream after application into the eye and could potentially have harmful effects on the developing baby. The eye drops should not be used during pregnancy unless your doctor thinks they're essential and that the benefits of the medicine outweigh the risks to the baby. This medicine may pass into breast milk in small amounts after application into the eye. These eye drops should only be used in mothers who are breastfeeding if considered essential by your doctor and the benefits to the mother outweigh the risks to the nursing baby. So possible side effects of tamoctyl eye drops. So they include eye irritation, for example, stinging, burning, itching, redness or watering of the eyes after putting in the drops. Also blurred or double vision, drooping of the upper eyelid, inflammation of the membrane that lines the inside of the eyelids and outside of the eyeball causing redness and discharge or conjunctivitis, inflammation of the eyelids which is blepharitis, inflammation of the cornea keratitis and dry eyes, feeling weak or tired, low blood pressure, dizziness and headache. So the side effects I've mentioned does not include all the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. 
So for more on risks and side effects, you need to read the information leaflet that comes with the medicine or speak to your doctor or pharmacist for more advice. How can tamoxyl eye drops affect other medicines? The timolol in this eye drop can be absorbed into the bloodstream after application to the eye and it may therefore interact with other medicines you're taking. You can minimize the amount of medicine that is absorbed into your bloodstream in the eye by pressing on the tear duct, so the corner of the eye closest to the nose while putting in the eye drops and wait for a few minutes after. If you're using more than one type of eye drop, you should administer them at least five minutes apart to prevent the second drop washing away the first and use gels or ointments last. The timolol in these eye drops may enhance the effects of the following medicines taken by mouth, which may result in low blood pressure or a slower heart rate. So beta blocker medicines taken by mouth, so Atacor or Propranolol, calcium channel blockers such as Nifedipine and Verapamil, Digoxin and medicines for an irregular heartbeat, so they'd be antiarrhythmetics such as Amiodarone, and quinidine or disopyramidine. In people with diabetes, timolol can prolong the lowering of blood sugar or hypoglycemia caused by insulin or other anti-diabetic medicines. People with diabetes should monitor their blood sugar more closely while using these eye drops as timolol can also mask the signs of hypoglycemia. Beta blockers oppose the action of medicines for asthma that open the airways, which is why these eye drops should not be used by people with asthma or other breathing difficulties. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through our website, mytelehealth.info, or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork, or ring 0214366923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.